Good morning, it's 544. Here is that uh, place where they make all the pizza. <laughs> Chicago and Lake Michigan right in front of you. Hope you're doing well. Greg Tanner's back. Good morning. Good morning, how you doing? I'm good. How does it feel to be awake at 5 a.m.? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen it if you weren't tuned in 20 minutes ago. It was just a little speck of a sun coming up and it was just the coolest thing in the world. Uh, we're going to remain dry and sunny for the next several days. In fact, next week, our temperatures will increase 810 degrees from where we will be today. Taking it to our parking lot of NBC 16. It's a beautiful morning. Couple of clouds, but no rain. And boy, does it feel good. We're in the middle and upper 50s right now. And I'm Greg Tanner. Happy Friday. Either I'm too high or you're too low. I think Should I, I am drop down. Drop down. A touch. Where's the thing? <laughs> Boink. Here we go. Is that better? Hello and good morning. Oh gosh, I'm so happy <laughs> it's Friday, Christelle. Friday. Friday is right. All right, listen, temperature wise, we're low and middle 50s. Let's take a look at our road report. It's a good one. I like going back in history, Kendall. That's what I love to do. And it was today, August 21st, in 1911, that the Mona Lisa, you know the Mona Lisa, mm -hmm. was stolen from the Louvre. Uh, Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. When was it recovered? It was stolen. How long did it go missing? So it was stolen in 1911. Was it recovered in 1913, 1918, Ooh, or 1921? Know. It's a great trivia. I don't know. I'm going to just guess with B. That's incorrect. C. That's incorrect. A. Went missing two years. for two years. And then it was finally recovered in 1913. And now you know. The things that happen in commercial breaks here. <laughs> you have no idea. I'm, so, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm drooling all over the place. I'm sorry. Milwaukee. Cloudy skies for folks there. We're going to have a great day today. Let's look at some temperatures around the good old <laughs> US of A. Aunt Denny lives in Albuquerque. 71. Uh, 81 in Miami. My friend Liza lives in Miami. My parents are in Chicago at 74. And my brother Ken is in New York, where it's now 78 degrees. This system here pushing mostly up into Washington, but we're going to get some residual of that tomorrow. What's that mean? We'll see about a tenth of an inch of rain tomorrow. And our, <laughs> you okay? Our temps will drop five, six degrees tomorrow from where they will be today. But yeah, that is on its way to Western Oregon. So we'll definitely see some showers tomorrow. For today, we're dry and sunny. Take you through six o'clock tonight. By the way, PK Park tonight, 705 first pitch. The M's are playing and it's going to be a great, great night for baseball. Here's the system off the edge of your screen. Uh, this is looking at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. This is what I'm talking about right there. It'll slide across I-5. Here's lunchtime tomorrow. So we will see those showers tomorrow and then uh, what's tomorrow Wednesday Thursday we're right back to sunshine as far as the seas go look at this northeast wind 5 to 10 waves 4 to 5 and the water temp down now 1 to 58 we will be about 81 today for Eugene Springfield all right well listen $100 for these cuties uh, Canon and this is Elizabeth yep. it's it's a package deal and that means twice as much the fun yes <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right so here's the deal on our weather today uh, there is a system this low pressure system that is going to move up into Canada and we're going to get this warm air uh, from California high pressure system building there and I'll tell you next week oh, oh boy we're into the 90s uh, for Eugene and for Springfield Roseburg uh, will be near 100 towards mid and end of next week. There is also a small craft advisory, Florence on down south to Cape Blanco, in effect till tomorrow night at 11. It was a crash, a deadly crash last night, so it is closed right now. I-5 northbound uh, in Tigard. Yeah. So we're gonna uh, continue to update. If you have uh, plans to go up to Portland today. You're gonna hit a lot of traffic. <laughs> yeah, hoping to have it open up again uh, by noon, and yeah, that's, that's a ways five off. five and a half hours away. So yeah. that only gives you an idea of how bad that crash is. Yeah, so. that's what's going on there. Here we are going to Pleasant Hill. So I come back from vacation <laughs> and we have a new chair that I'm sitting in. Actually, it's an old chair because uh -huh. the other chair broke. Yeah. So now I'm in the, you hear that? It's a squeaky chair. So if I turn, maybe we have some WD-40 that we can. <laughs> Beautiful weather for us today, but what about the weekend? I'll have that for you as soon as we come back. During the commercial break, we were talking about the difficult job that officers have, law enforcement.
So you know what? Thank you to uh, Western Oregon officers. You know, this is not an easy job. It really is not. So thank you guys so much. It's a dangerous job, and thank you for your service. Um, today we have a, a meeting. Yeah. We have meetings. Ugh. Ugh. Don't you just love meetings? Yeah. Uh, it's a good meeting. It's, it's not it's, a bad meeting. It's, it's a, a good training meeting. meeting, which means we have to watch a PowerPoint. We have to watch a PowerPoint? It's a training meeting. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully they at least bring us donuts or something. Yeah, Make Bert, it interesting. Bert, if you're up watching, Bert's our news director. <laughs> bring the donuts. So there's a little chill in the air. If you're going to work, uh, doing whatever you're doing, put the window down, just a little crack. It's just so pretty out. Daytime highs today will be in the low 80s for Eugene and Springfield. Low 70s for Coos Bay. Also a breezy day for the coast. Wind gusts in the low 20s and then upper 80s today for Roseburg. Be patient tomorrow if you are going to uh, the Fifth Street Public Market because parking right now. Ooh, they're doing the right. construction. That's right. So um, there's garages nearby. A lot of those garages are free on the weekends. Mm -hmm. and oh, just, yeah. You can take advantage of yep, that as well. Walk on over. But, yeah, parking could be a little tough.